So hack number one is I'm gonna fill a sock with some rice so that I can use that when I'm working on my folded books to hold the pages down. So you're gonna go ahead and fill the sock with a lot of rice. As you can see, I'm not quite as neat as I want to be. But that's okay. That's the reality. So you fill your sock with, with the rice. And you can go ahead and get a nice tie. And this way, when you're folding books, you can go ahead and just use it as, as a weight right here. And it will make it a lot easier to work. And then you would just turn the page and go like that. It's a lot cheaper than buying the fancy contraptions. And it's very easy. That's hack number one. Hack number two is people have trouble figuring out whether when you should double the pages when you're centering or not. And the trick is one, two, three, you're going to double me. And if it's one, three, five, leave me be. So when you're looking at a pattern, if it lists every single page, then you do have to double it. If it lists every other page, then you're going to leave it alone. The next trick I have is if you want to make a quick cover, you can take a dust jacket that comes from the book and go ahead, if you look on the other side, it's actually really nice and clean, and then go ahead and fold it on the actual folds from the, from the beginning, from the manufacturer, and then you can put the dust cover on. Go ahead and put it on backwards now, and you have a very nice, make sure you folded it correctly, and now you have a really nice cover for your book. So as easy as that, you have a nice book cover. The next hack I have is after you finish a book, it's going to get really, really thick, and you're going to want the page, the the cuts to lay real nice. What I do is you can either lay, put a bunch of books on top or you can just sit on it for say 20 minutes and it's going to really make your creases nice and crisp. Now if you're folding a 180, what you can do is you can take a filing, a file folder like this and you remove the metal part. And this will give you a perfect 180. Again, you don't need to buy all these fancy equipment that you're going to see offered on Facebook and on YouTube and Pinterest. All you do, go ahead and use my sock to get that out of the way. As you can see, it's real nice. And then you're going to go ahead and fold over on the filing cat, on the, on the, on the metal piece, and it winds up giving you a perfect 180 every time. So that's really quick and easy. It's approximately one centimeter, so it's absolutely perfect. Now, have you ever come across where you've made, made a pattern and maybe you counted something wrong and you don't have enough pages? Quick hack, find a book that's similar in size, remove however many pages that you need, like so, and then add them to the back, like so, glue it in, and now you have the extra pages you need and you can't even tell. So that's really good when you're in a bind. Now my last hack is when you're, is when you're folding, and you're supposed to be folding in one centimeter. The easiest way to do that is go ahead and cut, Now when you fold in, where's that, and that sock really is coming in handy, is you're going to go ahead and fold in right to this, right to where the text begins, right here. And that will give you, again, approximately one centimeter for the cut and fold, and you don't have to have, spend all that time measuring. It really does do a nice job, and that's a really great hack. 
If you can think of any other hacks that you've seen or you want to share, please put that in the comments below so that we can help everyone else. Happy folding.